Welcome back to another video here at Rick Shaves. All right, guys, so before I forget, don't you forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification to be alerted to all future videos that I post. With that being said, let's get to the shave. Okay, what am I using today, guys? I am using the Phoenix Arsenal Accoutrements. This is going to be kind of a Phoenix-themed shave because all the products I'm using are essentially Phoenix products. So, Phoenix Arsenal Accoutrements, the Symmetry Razor, I believe. Symmetry Razor. Three-piece razor, very mild. Used it before, got it in the... A starter kit from Phoenix that they have and uh, this is a great razor guys like I said uh, very similar to kind of like a, a, a Mula R89 or an Edwin Jagger a DE89 kind of style head and and feel it's very mild very comfortable shaving I have a Gillette uh, platinum uh, blade in there and uh, I believe it's gonna be it's third or fourth use so it should be okay all right guys so that is the razor right there very nice one the soap okay so this is a new one that i got because this has recently been put on phoenix's discontinued list now that doesn't necessarily mean that it will be gone forever it just usually when they do this it's uh to make room for new scents and new soaps and stuff like that and uh, usually they bring these back every once in a while so you know not to fret if you didn't get this uh, soap it will hopefully be back and that is sundown Phoenix's sundown now this one is like their homage to the Gillette Sun Up which was a very popular aftershave in the 60s I believe Again, it has their patent. Uh, this is the cocoa, uh, cocoa butter formula, not the CK6, but yeah, it definitely has a uh, very unique scent to it. And as a matter of fact, I have the scent profile here. Uh, let's see here. It's talc. I definitely could smell that. Oak moss, lemon, could smell that. Uh, Pedigrain, bergamot, that's that lemon lime kind of scents that they got going there. Uh, lavender, rose, it does have kind of a floral scent to it. Animalistic musk, well, you know, I just, you know, permeate that from my natural body odor, so that's just going to add to it. <laughs> that's definitely uh, different, animalistic musk. Uh, clary sage, vetiver, and sandalwood, okay? That's the scent profile, very unique and uh, it's supposed to smell very similar to the Gillette Sun Up. Now, I've never smelt that one. So I'll have to take Phoenix's word for it that it is as close to a reproduction as they could have made. Um, if, if those of you who actually know whether it is or not and you comment in, this, in the uh, comment section below, let me know whether Phoenix hit the mark on this or it's, you know, they really didn't uh didn't really uh get it all that right so you know again he says he worked over a year on this stuff so you know uh i i think they do a pretty good job at most of the uh imitation scents that they try to reproduce so uh you know i'm just gonna go ahead and say that it probably smells very similar the brush is the atomic rocket from phoenix look at that thing it's huge it is a good size brush, synthetic knot, should be very, uh, should work very well for the face and a head shave for later. All right, got the matching aftershave as well, and this is really the one that's, uh, that's uh, going to be very more similar to the Gillette Sun Up, because Gillette Sun Up was actually an aftershave, and I don't believe it was ever a soap of any kind or anything like that, so... Uh, this is really where it, it's going to probably, you're going to want it to really definitely smell very similar to the original Gillette Sun Up. Okay, so the Sundown Phoenix Shave. Enough talking, let's get to shaving. Did my pre-shave routine, just got out of the shower. 
and uh, washed my beard. Just going to re-wet or rehydrate it. All right, let's wet this brush here. Again, reason I love synthetics is all I gotta do is just wet the bristles. Don't have to pre-soak it or anything like that. I'm just gonna lather straight from the tub here. It's gonna be a lot. Now this is very, this is pretty soft soap. So I'm trying not to, uh, I'm trying not to get the brush really gunked up with a lot of chunks of soap that may break off. Oh man, this soap smells great. My wife liked the smell of it as well. Very unique, guys. It's very pleasant though, um, because I do, I can pick up like that talc powder, that, you know, that kind of that talc powder smell to it. Um, definitely has that little bit of that citrus lemon kind of, and then like there's this, these floral notes as well. And it has some musk in there. It's got my own essence, animalistic musk. <laughs> I just sweat it, guys. That's where Phoenix gets it from. I just, you know, wring it out from my shirts and... <laughs> nah, it's disgusting. I'm just king. That's not where they get it from. Trying to make it a little bit more wet. So it looked a little dry. That's better. Nice, 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 nice. Do a head shave tonight too, so. Not too worried about the sideburns because I'm gonna shave them off anyways. But look at that. Look at that. No. <laughs> I'm gonna get myself, I'm telling you, I'm gonna get it one day. I will lick that ice cream cone one day and it will not taste as good as ice cream. I'm here playing around and stuff and I'm gonna make myself look sillier, sillier, yes, than I already do on camera. Okay, let's see how this works. I know how it's gonna work. Phoenix products are usually pretty good, guys. You know, this is just kind of a shave of the day. Phoenix inspired shave. Wow, this razor is doing a great, look at all that, look at all that nasty <laughs> stuff. It's doing a great job, guys. Um, I cannot say enough about this razor. I, uh, it's, it's, it's definitely one that uh, I would highly recommend for a beginner or hell even a seasoned pro I mean it cuts hair I mean look I got one side two sides you know second side got all of all of the this side of my face here and I got about three days worth of growth guys so Wow, very smooth and comfortable shave. You know, it just, it's just cutting through that hair. I think even if I had up to a week's worth of growth, this razor would still cut it no problem. May have to test that. I don't like going that long without shaving, but 
I may have to test certain razors. You know, see how many days of growth I can go without, you know, without, uh, without shaving and then seeing how well they do. But I would, I would venture to say four or five days, no problem, guys. Not the mustache area. Or moustache. It's very good. And I just essentially, essentially letting the weight of the razor do the work. Not really pushing or applying a lot of pressure or anything, really none whatsoever. Oh yeah. Really good first pass, guys. Again, I'm only going to do two because that's all I need. I need more than that. Now, if you feel like you need to do the third pass, then, you know, by all means, you do. You, you do you, boo. But for me, two passes is more than enough. And this soap, wow, the slickness is, is, off, is off the chart on here. They always have really good slick soaps. That formula, even the cocoa butter formula, it, it's still really good. So, you know... If uh, you don't want to buy the, the CK6 one, which can be a little bit more expensive, I think because the ingredients just cost a little bit more that go into that one. Um, there's nothing wrong with the uh, cocoa butter. It does. It does a great job. Mmm, man, this soap smells good. I feel like I'm in the 1960s right now. I'm uh, jump in my Studebaker and drive on down the street. <laughs> I don't know when the Studebaker came out. I just mentioned a car. An old car. All right, cross grain, but I'm gonna go out this way so I get a little bit more of a closer shave. Now, if you can't do an against the grain pass, don't push it. Just, you know, do a, a cross grain or another with the grain to try and get a more closer shave. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> really good. Really good. And I'm going to do an upward pass here on the neck. Uh, kind of against the grain, cross grain. It's more of an against the grain 
than anything. It's a more aggressive pass for me. So I definitely am going to go slow. Don't want to cut myself too much or at all, if possible. Wow, smooth like butter. Do the other side. Great comfort. Great products, guys. I mean, I have to say, do a great job on these soaps. You know, and there's something there for everyone. I mean, they got tons of different scents, which I know can be kind of confusing because, oh, I want this one, I want that one. Calm down, okay. <laughs> Pick something that you sounds like you're gonna like. See if somebody's done a review on it, like me. And uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, just kind of make up your mind from there, because they do have a lot of scents there. And and the soaps last quite a while. You know, depending on how much you use it, how you know much you load your brush and all that, they can last quite a while. You know. But uh, for an artisan soap company, it's one of the better ones. Uh, this razor again has a little overhang here, so you gotta be careful with that when you go across your nose here. You don't want to, you don't want to take more than, you know, what, you know, more than what you really want. You wanna, come back you know you're done shaving that and you know, half your nose is gone That's good. All right. Let me just uh, rinse off my face real quick. I'm going to do a quick cleanup pass under the neck just to get a little closer. Oh, but wow. The rest of the face is really good. Pretty, uh, pretty close. We'll do a Quick little clean up under this neck here and we'll be done. Some good audio feedback from this razor here.
shave that double chin. Shit, it's almost a triple chin. Looks like I got a few little weepers here and there. A few little specks there. Hey, if you don't nick yourself, it ain't shaving, I guess, right now. <laughs> but I really don't like nicking myself, but it comes with the territory, guys, because it's shaving. I'm putting a metal, very sharp piece of metal to my face, and it's very possible you may nick yourself. So just understand it's going to happen. What you want to do is try and not get nicks, or if you do, try to get as small a nicks as you can. These seem pretty small. Probably not enough to get a styptic. All right, cold water rinse. That is pretty cold. Wow. Wow. I mean, my face feels awesome. The the post shave, the post shave feel for Phoenix soaps are just really great. I can't I can't complain. Really can't complain too much when I use the soap. I can complain a little bit on the price. <laughs> they are a little bit more expensive. So definitely uh, not always a, uh, you know, a budget friendly type soap, I believe. Like for the aftershave soap combo, it's around anywhere between like 40 to almost $50, I think. Depending on which one you buy. So, and, but you know, what's also good too is they have a uh, installment. Uh, plan where you can pay a little bit every month and uh, Yeah, you can pay it off a little little time. And it's interest-free. I believe it's called after pay. I believe that's their uh, One they use but let's take a look at this shave guys three days worth of hair gone and wow a Stellar shave. Wow. We're not done yet either. Haven't finished it by any means. Still have the sundown aftershave to put on. Now let's see if this has anything in it here. Uh. Lavender, lavender, fragrance, glycerin, aloe, liquid silk, menthol. All right, so this does have some menthol in it. It's not like, you know, freeze dry your face menthol, but it, it has a nice cooling effect. And I like these new little stopper. I mean, they're not new, but they've been using them for a while, but... Um, they really do control the flow of the aftershave. Ooh, yeah. Mmm. Definitely has a nice, cool feeling to it. And I use quite a bit. <laughs> Whoo! That cool, that menthol. I love menthol, but it's uh, this one's a little more intense for me because I used a little bit more, just a little bit more than I probably should have. Um, but it's okay. Oh, the scent on it, though, guys, it's really good. It it definitely is. Uh, definitely matches that that uh, soap very well. But you know what's great about this is that you wouldn't even have to use the soap if you didn't want to. If you just wanted to buy the soap or you want to buy the aftershave, which you know, and 
you know, in all, all honesty, this is all I really needed to kind of match that Gillette sun up aftershave, you know, if I, if I really wanted to, because again, they didn't make, uh, I don't believe they made it into a soap. I, I, all I ever saw was an aftershave, but it has a great scent to it. Um, definitely picking up all kinds of notes in there. Yeah, at first it was kind of that menthol, like menthol was really kind of strong with it. But, you know, once that kind of just starts to subside, it's just a nice, nice kind of, uh, I can definitely smell fl some floral notes. Um, not really. Don't really get a musky scent, but it's some floral notes there. Yeah, I'm doing the Darth Vader sniff test here. Um, but definitely uh, pretty spot on from the uh, from the soap. And uh, it's just uh, what's great about it is, again, use it as a cologne. But it smells really good. And the post-shave feel is awesome. My face is soft and smooth, feels very hydrated, doesn't feel like it's drying out, doesn't feel irritated or uh, or anything like that. And all those little weepers I had are gone. They're closed up because of the cold water and the aftershave really does help. But great shave, guys. All right, let's go ahead and recap the symmetry. I believe it's called symmetry. Razor from Phoenix. Great mild shaving razor. Would recommend this for a beginner, intermediate, full advanced level 12 wizard master wet shaver. That That's who could use this, all right? It's a good razor. That's just kind of what I'm trying to say here in a silly way. The soap was Phoenix's Sundown again. It's on their discontinued list as of recording this video. I don't know how long it'll be available. Um, but like most of their discontinued stuff, they usually kind of bring them back every once in a while. Um, that's not a guarantee. But, you know, it, they may bring it back for a limited time, which I do hope they do. So if you miss out on it, maybe they'll bring it back. Okay? Not going to say for sure. You know. It's not like I have an inside to any of this stuff. Phoenix, the atomic rocket. And this is definitely a uh, good size brush here. But I'm not going to wring it out or anything because I'll probably do a head shave here later. And then I topped it off with the matching sundown aftershave. This stuff smells great it makes your skin feel great it has some menthol in there so if you guys that like that nice cooling effect this be a great spring and summer scent it really is and the fact that spring is just kind of right around the corner too this made a really good kind of theme shave but i'm gonna tell you right now my face just feels really good that's what happens when you use really good products from a company that kind of likes to put some effort into and uh, you know into their products and and wants that high quality performance in them you know i've always had luck with phoenix products you know again it's subjective there may be someone out there that doesn't like phoenix for whatever reason and that's fine you know um, but for me they work great uh, I always highly recommend them when, uh, you know, people ask me, I want to get like an actual shave soap, you know, what's a good one. And I'll tell them like, you know, I give, usually tell them this one, but, uh, you know, uh, Phoenix usually, but, uh, yeah, guys, again, great shave and, you know, using great quality products all right guys so if you like the video go ahead and hit that thumbs up also comment down below subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification to be alert to all future videos that i post because you know i post them whenever i kind of can 
So I'll see you on the next one, guys. Take care.